In today's video, I unbox Point of No Return. It is the fourth Mythos pack for the Dream Eaters Deluxe Scenario Expansion for Arkham Horror the Card Game by Fantasy Flight Games. Let's take a look. There are hobbyists among us, geniuses with the ability to play any game they want to. In 1978, a corporation known as the Interior isolated a young hobbyist named John and exploited his genius for their entertainment. Then one day, their hobbyist ran away. have point of no return it is the fourth scenario or the fourth mythos pack for the dream eaters campaign of arkham horror the card game this is the uh third scenario for the b line within dream eaters because if you remember with dream eaters there is a uh a path and a b path so this right here is Contains scenario 3B. Like all the Mythos packs, it is in this kind of clam shell design. Uh, there is always this QR code uh, so you can look up online all of the cards in here. So I absolutely have no problem showing them all to you. Uh, but I will kind of have a little intermission where in the beginning I only show you the character cards and I will save everything else for the Smithos pack uh, till after the little intermission. So if you want to stay spoiler free, you absolutely can. But if you do want to see everything, I will show that towards the end. It is for ages 14 plus, one to four players with an average play time of one to four or one to two hours. Again, Mythos Pack 4, Point of No Return, contains Scenario 3B of the Dream Eaters campaign. This pack contains 60 fixed cards with new player card design to augment existing decks and a new scenario that can be played either standalone mode or as part of the Dream Eaters campaign. Now, like all Mythos packs, what that's telling us is that you can just grab this off your shelf, grab some investigators and play this one as a standalone, just all by itself, or you can play it as part of the progression of the Dream Eaters campaign uh, for this third scenario. So after you have uh, you know, gone through uh, you know, the A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, then you're going to come over here to, to B3. And though what a lot of people will, will do is they'll go A1, B1, B2, A2, A3, B3, that kind of a, so kind of, so that way, you know, especially if you have a whole group of them, uh, you're not, you know, switching investigator pools because you can only have one group of investigators uh, for A and for B. You can't say you have Roland, you can't have him in both A and B. He can only be on one or the other. So, you know, while you do have to do um, A and B from one before you go on to two, um, you know, once you go on to two, it doesn't matter which one A or B you do first. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we have on the inside. And as we have kind of gotten used to, open it up. Yep. Kind of have this fold out. Oh no, it is a little different. Oh. Okay, its instructions are a little different. You kind of caught me off guard there for a little bit. Okay, well that, until I can actually open it up and see where everything lies, we'll leave that right there. Uh, I'll open it up because again, I want to be able to show you some of this, but I don't want to potentially spoil anything for you. And then we have the cards with our classic blue dot right there to let us know these are the English ones. We can see we have so many cards right there and again we will open this up uh, just look at the character cards and then save everything else for our spoiler section 
Here we have the instructions for a point of no return. Now this will be a little difficult to show you because it is one sheet double sided and on the other side it kind of goes down to this little area of parts you can read and then all the rest you are not supposed to read. <sighs> That makes it very difficult. If you want to stay spoiler free, that makes that very difficult. I would have so much preferred make your font a little bigger, make this a double sided so that way you can have, you know, two pages of what you can see and then two pages of what you should not see yet. So let me move this. And sorry for having a little bit off camera. And here we go, we will pull this up. And so here is the rest that you can see. You don't have to worry about spoilers. Um, so sort of some of the new mechanics that you will get within this one. Everything else there on that second page is for the do not read yet. So we will save that for the spoiler section. Up first we have our character cards. They all have this same common back. Uh, and like with most Mythos, we have our one weakness that starts off. Well, that is my spoiler-free unboxing for Point of No Return, the fourth Mythos pack for the Dream Eaters campaign of Arkham Horror, the card game. If you want to stay spoiler-free, this would be the point to stop. I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing. I hope it has helped you to determine if it is something you would be interested in. However, if you want to see everything else, if you want to see all of the cards for this Mythos pack, it's coming up. And for our spoiler section, we will be looking at all the rest of the cards here, starting off with the Mythos cards. They all have this common back. Then we have the difficulty card. Up next, we have the agenda card. There's two of these. Then we have the act cards. There are four of these within this scenario. And finally, our location cards.
And finally, that brings us back to the instruction manual. We'll go ahead and finally flip this over so we can see the full thing. Well, I hope this unboxing of Point of No Return, the fourth Mythos pack for the Dream Eaters campaign of Arkham Horror, the card game by Fantasy Flight Games, has helped you to determine if this is something you would be interested in. I'm guessing, though, by this point, if you have gone through the Dream Eaters campaign and have gotten up to here, it's, it's probably a sure thing. Uh, but, of course, whenever you get a chance to add uh, character cards or player cards to your deck, uh, adds additional features, a different additional uh, components to the game. That's always going to be a good thing. Well, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.